Oh my god, hello, hello, welcome, welcome. We are playing Signal us today. We're continuing our progress from the previous stream. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm your local Moon Bunny VTuber, Jerry. Welcome, Tao. Hello, everyone. Instead of Goku, howdy. Alan. Or should I call you Alan? Or should I call you. I think it is Alan. Yahoo. <laughs> hello, hello. Citrus Sushi. Hi, 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 hi. Playing with the mic a little bit. Today's stream is a little bit different because we have, um, we have a heart reminder. <laughs> I actually had this heart reminder for a, quite a while now, and it's only been used at this time. Well, we used it for the Phasma stream, but it kind of broke down. Now I kind of whipped it out for the stream, so now we're good to go with this sort of thing. Hi Leo, welcome, welcome. Let's head to the game scene there and we'll have our pleasantry exchange at the, um, the opening scene of the game itself. I don't mind it. Oh, you know what? I should turn off the light too. I should turn off the light so that we have a little bit of immersion with where we're going with this. I apologize for the long wait earlier during the loading screen. <laughs> I had to use the fabric, which is really embarrassing because you got to see my heart rate. Uh, heart rate go up or down based on what's happening. But don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Alright, I am way too bright for this game. So let me, tr let me turn down the light right here. Oh, uh, let's just see. Give me a second. I'm gonna turn on the music too. Does this work? There we go. Now, now I look like I'm fitting in with the scene. <laughs> We're fitting in with the scene here. Is starting music actually startled me? Well, but you know, the, the starting music is, is pretty good, isn't it? I know that it's um pretty bright and cheery. That's the kind of vibe that I want to go for with this, with this kind of stream. Well, that's the kind of music I've always had. <laughs> the the banger 8-bit music. Okay, so last time we played this game, um, I just remember waking up from a ship and then trying to exit out the ship, which we did, and we started exploring this building that we're currently in. For the longest time, we were stuck on the first floor, but now we are able to use the... Uh, the elevator. The elevator for our, our expenditures. And stuff. As usual, we have the loading screen here with the eyeball looking left and right. It's a pretty neat thing that they do with this uh, opening scene. And we'll continue what we left off on. So I read the hospital too, of all things. Oh, I just realized. Oh, hold on. Let me get this working for you guys too. There you go. Yes. This game, as you know, is a little bit of a horror escape game, which is why I think it's appropriate to to have the heart rate monitor for this one. I also couldn't have it though, because I wasn't actually sure how scary it could be. Honestly, it's not that scary. Baby's first horror is probably maybe this game. It's just a little bit creepy and atmospheric more than horror. I don't think there's any true um, jump scares in this, just, just pop up here and there kind of thing. Hi Holly, welcome, welcome. Wait, hold on, have you played this game? I know that uh, Joe, Joe Bob's first stream was actually Signalist before he started streaming uh, Resident Evil and all that. I don't have anything in storage because I am a, a freak that likes to hoard all of her items. <laughs> Maybe it's kind of natural to want to like hoard everything though. What's this? Oh! Wait, I thought I already had a shotgun. Do I need a shotgun shell for this? Let's just see this real quick. One of the things that I really liked about this game is the art style for it. I just wish it wasn't so creepy. And I can see this kind of art style being for a more just adventure game straight up. Let's see. Um, this fire is from a magazine. Can I equip this? Oh yeah, I can equip this. I think maybe it's better than a pistol, but I could be wrong for that. High rate of fire, easy to use. But you know, as you know, shotguns require a bit more of a close up ordeal but maybe it's okay maybe it's okay <laughs> hey board genius welcome welcome yes you got the heartbeat tracker don't don't look at me i know the 90 looks pretty high but as a as a pseudo used to study medicine kind of person your average heart rate should be about 60 to 100 any more any less could be a sign of uh uh discomfort <laughs> All right, let's check out the map here as well. I want to see if we can map toggle map scrolling. Mm. 
Honestly, we could just start heading upwards more and more until we hit it at a dead end. The useful thing about this game is that you have a map so you're not too lost and you also mark where you've tried to exit and entered. And so far, these are the spots. There's this one spot here. I forgot all the yellow men. I think I need a key for that one, so I just have to check down that real quick just to remind myself. I don't touch the game outside of stream time. Okay. Well, this game started as a side scroller at first. Oh, really? I, I can see that though. I really don't want to shoot her. She's too pretty. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, that's the first time I died? No, I did die. I did not die. Eh. Wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, so where are we in the map now? Oh, I was trying to get to the uh, the gold door on the on the map you see there. So we might just have to head up here. Oh! Oh, this is a puzzle here already. Fletcher, you can get some good range out of that. No, I think it's just a shotgun, right? I don't know if it's just a grand or typing of the shotgun. Don't forget about the obviously subtle theme of military industrial complex. Yes. But... Oh, we don't have a key for this. Fire key, earth key, gold key, water key, and then what is this? Air key. Oh, damn. We actually have quite a bit of keys to collect before we uh, do anything here. Whoops. That's kind of my bad. The three golden stars and more nation adorned the Stella. I ready to go back because this was not where I intended to go, but now we know we have to go search for all the keys for this area. Big door! Probably very important door too. Alright, she's gone. No, she's still here. I see her shadow. <laughs> okay. Did it not work? Oh. Why is there... Why is there such a s terrible sound right here? You don't remember someone or something and pounded your key card so you have to find a new one. But yeah, I remember. I just want to check this golden door area to see what kind of keys I needed for this. Unlocks from the other side. Oh, unlocks from the other side. So that's why our map was yellowed out there. That's all I want to check. That's all. That's all. Um, One thing that I wanted to mention about the stream was that last week I tried doing this thing where the... whatever was happening on the screen was reflected back on, on me but it did look kind of washed out so I decided just to huggle the filter over, over me so that I don't... I don't stand out too much <laughs> Something I realized about having a, a very very pale um, skin is that I stand out too much against a dark background which is why I tend to um, tint the light a little bit. Wait, we should check out how much, um... The shotgun has three more bullets on it, so it should be a fine. But I don't want to count on it too much. <sighs> Nothing too bad so far. I did get a jump scare. <laughs> oh, insert a blank card to begin the printing. I don't have a blank card, do I? Yeah, oh, I gotta really explore other places then. We don't have anything to work with. I don't know, I don't have anything. Let me just check that real quick. I have shotgun rounds. But those, that looks like it. Um, I don't know what that is. Can I... No. This is photograph. Oh, I should put the photograph back in storage. Mm, patches. Okay, we'll just use one of the health patches, maybe? Oh, I probably have two of them. Actually, I'm gonna avoid doing that for now. I'll just be more cognizant of how much damage I take. So, no entry here, so that's our answer for that. We're gonna go back to storage, because I need to put away the photo. The photograph is actually taking quite a bit of my storage space, unfortunately, for the more important stuff. Let's see, let's see. Despite this damage, Alina saw can still be seen on it. Oh, that's a girl, right? It might be important for story elements. That's why I'm kind of worried about it. Um... I guess... Let's see, let's see. Destroy combined with shotgun. Nice! Now we have a little bit more storage to work with probably there. 
Okay. Um, let's check the map again. So we can't go to the left because we don't have a blank key for the computer. Oh, uh, hmm, 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 hmm. Alright. We're gonna explore new areas now. So it looks like we can go to the left side with the waiting room again, or we can go to the right side. Let's go to the right side since it's close to us. You know, um, you're probably wondering how to get a heart monitor on the screen. And the way I do it is, um, I put... I bought this heart rate monitor on Amazon for like 30 bucks. And I thought, oh man, 30 bucks is so expensive. But thankfully, it's been- it paid off itself because I stream a couple of times with it. Um, not too often though. Examination room key. Not too often, but when I do, it- it, you know, deducts like a dollar off or something <laughs> every time I use it. I want to get at least 30 uses out of it so it becomes like a- was it one dollar per use kind of situation. And afterwards, it'll be like two cents or something the more and more and more I use it. <laughs> That's my logic with things sometimes. What? What's this? Oh. What is that? What is this? <laughs> oh, wait. Um, let's see. Build the um, norm object E. These are just stuff under a, a information infin information box. <laughs> Turning egg. I can see various objects laid out under the x ray apparatus behind the glass. Okay, so it doesn't look like it's, it's a huge, huge, huge thing. Good morning, Uwede. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Did you claim it under your taxes? Of course I did. Honestly, the most painful time in terms of revenue is in the first year when I'm trying to upgrade everything. And then for me, I did a rebranding. That was also like <laughs> when it was so sad. <laughs> my, my taxes are so sad. After I did my taxes, I'm like, all right, it's time to just blow out all the money I, I get. You know? Right then... Oh? Oh, you can toggle it and stuff. <laughs> eh? But you can see it in... in, in X-ray mode? I guess it makes sense because the dimension is X-ray machine. Oh, let's see. Is there anything really cool? Maybe this one? Do I have something here? No, just like bones. This is an actual hand. Through and through. And this is a skull. Eh? Oops. Toggle? Whoa, it's a human brain! What's that? Oh, wait. Isn't this something we need? Oh, this is a card, isn't it? Wait, how do we get a- Oh, wait, 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 wait. I gotta remember this. <laughs> I don't know when this will come in use, but maybe there will be something for this. Hold on, you're gonna hear the Microsoft uh, snipping tool, but... Pretend you didn't hear it. <laughs> Pretend you didn't hear it. I'm sure this will be useful in, in, in some time, in some way. So I'm just gonna screen cap it right now. Okay, I think that's it. And then one more... One more thing here, and then turn on this. Oh... It looks like... It, it's complicated. <laughs> that's all I can say about it. Mm -hmm. Having this game be a side-scroller definitely kind of lessened the experience, I believe, because I feel like the whole environment itself comes alive when you have a top-down view and everything. There's a there's a case for side-scrollers in our like um the age stuff. <laughs> I see someone top left. <laughs> uh, I didn't expect them to come out there! No! What the heck? Achai? Oh, they do come back up if you, don't, if you don't hurt them. I see, I see. Please go down, please go down so I can just stomp your head in. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. What? Is it good? Are we done? Are we done? Yes. Oh, oh my god. I thought they didn't come from the ground. I guess if you did live as a zombie, you could live anywhere. Even even the parts of the uh, flooring. Personally, worst spot to, to live in. Why do you want to live on the cold hard floor when you can live on the bed? 
Okay, so... Oh man, this room is creepier than the uh, uh, previous room we've been into. <laughs> I everything needs a key. They have it. They have the security pretty good down here. Uh. Let's see. Let's see. Do you guys lock your doors in your room? This lock is affected. Door cannot be opened. I lock the door in my room. But I've heard about how one of my friend um. In his family, they don't lock the door. They just trust each other. And I I just can't... I can't fathom that sort of... Communication and trust in, in my family. Not just Barjan. I'm not hiding anything, by the way. It's just that... Mama Han does this thing where... She'll knock and then enter the room without me saying anything. And I... Ugh, that habit is so... It's so annoying. <laughs> Why can't you just knock and then let me tell you to come in? Alright, it, it's hard out here. It doesn't really matter as much these days because I only lock my room so that I can have a quiet areas or space to record or whatever. But, um, you know, back then I was doing art studies. You know, I was drawing and stuff and I had art. Oh, cha 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 There's more? Oh, I don't have no bullets! Oh! Oh no! Wait, if I... Oh no, I have to restart, don't I? Oh, this is my bad, that's my bad. Oh no! I have to go back to the same point. That's the first time I died in this game. I got greedy. I got greedy, that's my bad, my bad. Ah. Oh. Old file. Oh, maybe we already explored the stuff we already explored. Let me check. Do we? Oh, I think we do have to. Oh, damn it. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Hmm, I got... I got... I was, uh... I did not reload for my, my shotgun shells. Right now, they give us so many shotgun shells, I think we're just forced to use it for our runs now. I used to do... Lock it, but closing the door normally does it. Ain't no way. <laughs> that happens in runs like this. Uh, sorry, loaded. Okay, we're fine then. Hi, Maki. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Oh, for staff sad. Have you died in this game at all? I, I feel like you shouldn't be dying in this game. You shouldn't be as bad as me. Unless you didn't lose much progress. Yeah, it wasn't anything too terrible. There's a lot of these creepy lighting stuff. And on this one, we just had to figure out a blank key. Okay, I just want to make sure I have all this recorded in and stuff. I will use my save file liberally. How did Genja? Welcome, welcome. Uh, at least you didn't. Oh, I read a part. <laughs> the only time I used to lock the door to my room is when I study for exams. Now that one makes sense a lot because you don't want to have your focus be interrupted or anything like that. Because all these doors haven't been explored yet. Okay, there's someone here. <laughs> I was prepared. I was prepared to take down whoever comes in through the door. Ugh. Oh! Oh my, that's me, that's me. Oh, that's me as well. <laughs> and this is the inspection stuff. Oh, we already did this stuff, so I should be fine. It's been while since a while then. Yeah, I only locked my door when I was doing um, recording for stuff or if I did art studies. You know when you do art study, you you have like nude models on screen and study from it. Yeah, that's how it was for me. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my god! One time though, I was, I put away my, I minimized the window for the nude art model I was studying from, and like, uh, ah! oh my god, I forgot. Oh, did I miss? Asha, Cherry died. God, one more here, one more here, one more here, one more here. One more? I could have sworn last time I did this run, there was another one that came out of the floorboard over here, but no one came out of there, surprisingly. Okay. That's my health bar. Critical, actually, so I will actually take advantage of that situation. 
reload that one because that was my mistake last time. Yeah, so one time um I would I had like a nude art model on one of my window tabs and she knocked on the door and then you know I, I closed minimized it and she came in. And then after we're, we're talking and stuff, and then she's like, Oh, you know, what do you think about this and this and this? And so I went to Google it and I forgot I had it. Watch out. I, I forgot I had it and then it suddenly it popped up. And then I minimized it again and I looked at her. She looked at me. And it was like the one meme where the two people look at each other. Or side eyed each other. And I realized like, oh, I made a mistake. She didn't say anything, but then we had a conversation about it later on in the car. All right, one time she said, uh, uh, Juju, uh, why do you look at Nika Mon as an artist? And I told her, I'd explained to her that when you're doing art, you have to study the human form and how it twists and contorts and how it poses and stuff. It wasn't like anything like, uh, not safe for work per se. I mean, they're, they're on clothes, but they weren't doing anything like sus. So, <laughs> that's why you need to lock your doors. The lesson I'm trying to teach you guys. Even when you hide everything, there's probably a high chance that you're, you didn't cover all your tracks. Well, when I... Oof, kind of awkward. Mm, I never really... I never felt like I had an awkward moment with my with my mom, interestingly. Because I think there's like a very solid understanding about what I, what I do. And how I go about it. Because there's a time when I went... Ah! Oh my gosh, she's so fast. The uh, thing with the the shotgun is that it takes a long while for me to swing o like around to go shoot it. But yeah, so Mama Han has like a good understanding if I explain to her logically about why I need to do what I need to do certain things. Alright, so we go through all these three doors. Papa Han is a little bit different though, because... <laughs> Papa, uh, Papa Han doesn't have the same logical expression as Mama Han does. What the heck is new place, isn't it? Alright, pretty lady, go down. Oh my god! Wait, you're still alive? Yeah, yeah. <gasps> Why is the music still pumping up? Am I missing something? Okay, well, um, there's so many doors. But they're all locked though. Pump room key? Oh my god, there's so many keys in this room. Lock from the other side. Oh! Uh, have I been here? I have not been here before. Ah, oh, man. Okay, wait. I need to start unloading some things. Let's destroy medium amount of health instantly. And prod. Shotgun runs. How many more? Oh, I actually need to reload my gun, so this is a good time. Look at that. Space. We have more space now. Pump room key. Yes. Is there anything else here? I just wonder if anything else in like the random spots here. Oh my god, squat toilet. <laughs> I have squat toilet PTSD from my my overseas trip. It's so common for Asian countries to not have toilet paper in any uh, in any bathroom sometimes. Okay, pump room key. Ooh. Feels kind of nice here. Nothing every is well lit, that's for one thing. Oh, uh, eh? Was it S? S23 drainage system? Purs? Oh, I can't read this because it's German. Oh, yes, the natural pooping position? Yo, I know what you're talking about, though. Because... What was his name? This is one YouTuber who's really big about improvement. Well, his whole thing about improvement, right? Oh? Oh, you think we should get even or something? B to C? B to C has 500. Oh, is that one puzzle? Or do you gotta measure out the darn thing? Okay, it's gonna be a little bit hard because I don't really know how to do this. Okay, so everything has to be about 500 le level. Leveled out. Hi, <laughs> Ramster. Welcome, welcome. How are you? So many items in limited inventory space is why I suggest a notepad or something to jot down location items you can't pick up right away. Yeah. Thankfully, I don't have to do that right now, though. Right now, we just have to figure out the puzzle that we're given. <sighs> How does this work? Okay, I think we're gonna put down... Um, C... C to B first. C to B? 
And A, A to C. That should be 500. Oh, I'm not doing correctly. Hold on. Hi, <gasps> Lustang. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Jerry. I'm playing... Wait, wait, wait. Playing one of my top 10 favorite games. Let's go. Let's go. I'm actually very shocked, though. A lot of people from my circle actually know about this game before I did. They, they played it before me. I was like, hey, it's a good game. Wait. So I thought we were supposed to have 500 in each of these, but then they have this little red marker here. Well, point to left and right, but maybe I do I do have to... Hold on. That wouldn't make sense, would it? That would not make sense. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I've seen this puzzle before. It's always been a trial and error kind of puzzle for me, though, when I come across the water puzzle stuff. Uh, B to A. I feel like that was not the right move, but now I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> Start over. That's so much emotional lore. It's great. I'm not sure if I felt the emotional lore yet, but that's something that I think um some of my... One of my friends talked about. This thing will include... So A, A to B go down here. And then B, C to A maybe? No. This one... Like that? <laughs> well, this puzzle is not going to if I use a guide for this one. I understand. We'll do our best. Let's try it at least one time and then we can give it a guide if we're really stuck. B... B to C in this one. And then... How does this work? What up? 3700, isn't it? Yeah, it's hard. There's help for this one somewhere, but you can do it. Gotta grab something in there. <laughs> okay. Come on. Let's pause the disc there. I think you have to get AB to red dot. That might be it. Give me a second, though. A, a C to B. C to B. <laughs> okay, it's not, it's not. B to C. This is back to where we were before. So maybe... And then A, C to A. C to A again. And then B to C here. Down to from B to C. Oh, wait. Did I just go back in a circle? Oh, A, B to the red dot. I did think it was a red dot too, but I was not sure. I was not sure exactly. This one is good though. This one's B... B to A. I need to remove 100 milliliters somehow. Ah, oh, it's gonna be one of those puzzles? Oh my god. Okay, let's try this over. Yeah, yeah, it's on the 600 marker for sure. Okay. Um, <laughs> this one needs 300, right? This one is one, two, one, two, three, four. So four underneath the marker. This one's three. So this one's three already. Four and three is seven. Use the chemistry knowledge. Have you done this puzzle before? There used to be this game on ya.com. It's like a brain game or something or IQ something. And they had a water thing as well. It's always a lot of trial and error whenever I did this though. You need A and B to 600, but... From A to B, you're gonna have to spend the 800. A to B, we need 800 for it. Mm, 800, and we split off somehow like that. Okay. Hold on. I need to ex expend out. Let's see. And then A, A, B, A, B down. <laughs> That's 100 right there. This one is what? This is one, two, three, three hundred, four hundred, four hundred here. So AC. A, A, okay, wait, wait, wait. That's four hundred. And then B, B to A. B, B to A. And then back to B and C. Go up to B and C. And then, sir, A to C. 
very very close i think where are we at with this one this one's 400 so it needs 200 each oh i'm very close i i feel like i'm very close hold on so one two ah uh, yeah i'm just 100 short that's the problem with this okay let's let's put the a a to b and then need an a <laughs> Oh, they're very close. Was it? One, two, five, four, five, six, seven, a hundred there. <laughs> uh, let's see, see the A. Okay, Rems have deleted a message. I didn't even get to see it even. Or what, baking, whatever, which one? I have neither baking or chemistry nudge. I'm sorry to disappoint. I did take chemistry class, though. The hardest class of my entire life. Well, it's orgo chemistry. When that one at 100, you can go to C, 500, instead of 500, to A. Ah, oh, sorry for the vaccine. I'm gonna lurk now. No, come back, come back. I need your help. I need your help. <laughs> Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Wait. We need two? No, we need 100 from here, right? So we just send A to B. Right? A to B? Wait, A to B would give it the 800 and look. Should be about 400 A to C up here. Uploaded that to here. And then this one B to C down here. What is this? One, two, three, three, four, five. I keep going over it or something. Hold on. A, A, C, A, C, A, C. A, A, A to B, A to B. It's 100 there, so it should be about, what is it? That would all go into the A section, but that's all we need. Okay, we just gonna put... 400. <laughs> Are you seeing a solution? We need exactly 600 in each. 600 in each? Uh, okay, wait. My brain is actually fried. We need to get another... This one's already at 300 milliliter, right? We need like a second copy of this somehow. I'm not sure how though. Okay, B to C. C to A. You didn't see the A here? Then B to C. B down to C. Okay. Then what? B to C. B, B to C again. It's already filled up here. This one needs what? One, two, one, two, three? Three hundred? Oh, I drive three hundred. No, I only have four hundred here. I don't know. Here, here, here. This one B. <laughs> this one go to A. Then the B to C. B, B to C. What is that? One. So oh, I'm. This one's 400. This one's 300. So that'll be 700. This one's 500. We pour 500 to here. It may not be it. Actually, wait. Maybe 900. 900 or one, two, three, three. Okay, okay. So we're gonna go A to C here. <laughs> Wrong way around. A to C, B to C, and then A to B. Okay, that leaves us 400. This one is one, two, three. So three. A. Oh my god. My, my brain. Someone help me. Okay, I'm gonna put. Um. A to C. And then B to C again. And then that should be not enough, actually. Oh, this is hard, man. Have you tried changing everything to Wumbo? Wumbo! No, I'm not actually. A brain is. I need a double of that C stuff. Uh, C to B. And then A to C. Somehow. B. B to A. Then C to B. C to B. And then C to A to C. 
Give me a sec. I think I'm cooking here. And then you. Uh. Uh. What even? It'll just fill up the whole thing again. Need A. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's it. We're gonna put up a guide for this one. So that's actually crazy. <sighs> I I I I'm here for story and puzzles. I actually actually no. I will talk to you guys about this one thing I want I want I've been thinking about right now. But let me just get past this part. Water pump puzzle Reddit. Always put Reddit at the end of your searches so you get the most authentic research. Okay, so container A, store up C, return when warm to get da, da, da. So far, we got a list of da, da, da. No expense, get a new number, a container. Da, 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 da. Why does person give such a long explanation? Oh, what? what? <laughs> This person didn't give the whole thing, which I kind of get though. There's a note in the room that gives step by step instruction. I thought it was funny parody. What the heck? Wait a minute. There's a note in this room? Blood drainage to all um, medical wing arrows. Broken, calling the lower level to be flooded. Since we're currently parent, and that, 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 to drain the water, make. Make sure an A and B have the same amount of water in them, the C is completely empty. You can see the water levels in the tank. Press the button on the bottom panel to remove water. You can only move all the water tanks and then I'm gonna pop it Okay. 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 No! <laughs> no! Why did they get so. Why did they. Did you give me the answer in the room and so? Fill tank B, then fill tank C with only water from B. Oh my god, they didn't tell you! <laughs> Why? That makes me so upset a little bit. I did all that thinking for no reason, guys. Did you, did you know about this? Did you know about the the freaking note in this room? Ara, no, 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 no. I don't know if you knew about the note. I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's just take note what they said. Uh, fill tank B, then fill tank C with water from- Oh, wait, wait, wait. Should I just- I'll just copy and paste this. Don't mind me. A new copy and pasted image. Yo, that's so stupid. What? I mean, great, great, great game design, actually. Alright, put this back in A. Put this back in A. I know that Leo mentioned something about it, too, but I didn't know what they actually meant. They didn't actually tell me that there's, like, a whole solution in the room itself. <laughs> Did you, you wouldn't know it either. If you were in the control seat of this, you would have not known either. Alright. Then fill tank C with only water from tank B. Move the water from tank C back to A. Fill tank C again when raining water from B. Then refill tank B from A. And then again, fill tank C with only water from tank B. B? Wait, I actually got lost a little bit here. Hold on, let me do this again. Oh, this this the note has too many notes. But the idea is that you pour in from A to B to C and then re re rinse the water A, B, and C. Rinse the water A, B, and C. Basically how it's supposed to be. When you have 100 in A and 500 C and move C to A, that would be 600 though. You need... Oh yeah, you do need 600, huh? I was actually really close. <laughs> he scratched it. Yo, what the, what the... What the messages are... Going out left and right. I could have done. I could have. I could have looked so cool and like stuff. I could have looked really cool. <sighs> okay, fill tank C water from B. Move water from tank C back to A. Oops. And fill tank C with remaining water from B. Uh, then refill tank B from A. Uh, again, fill tank C with only water from B. And then move it back to tank A. Oops. I hate myself. This is so sad. I, at least I haven't spent that long on it though, I would think. I'm, I don't want to look back on the VOD. I'm kind of cringe myself. <laughs> they got the Triforce symbol here. That must be something else. 
Okay, what is this? I think this did everything, right? Oh, I mean, they're so hard. Nice. That room's done for sure. That room needs a key. That room's a dead end protective bathroom. Even with the note, I was clueless. <laughs> okay, so this drain this area, right? So we can go down here now. Let me just check them out to make sure that we don't have... Okay, well... We're gonna explore down here. Eh? I'm not worried that I might be in a different room than intended. Okay, that's the water key. Yes, remember, we have to collect all the elemental keys and then combine them in the one room. Which I will go to in a bit once I explore all that's needed to be explored here. Yes. Nice. I, I don't have my stuff full. Oh my god, there's like someone here. Oh? No way, what the heck? What do you think about the game so far? Story? Right now, the story doesn't really speak to me, if that makes sense. To me, I do like the puzzle aspect. I'm kind of just waiting to see what will... Jesus Christ. Oh my god! No way she's like hitting me from the outside, right? No space to carry blank. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna drop uh drop the stun gun maybe. Let me see if there's any more bullets in my guns. Do I have any more bullets? I do not have any more bullets, so eh. <laughs> what a single use? This one is single use and I have two of them. Either I drop this or I drop this. I think I will drop... Let's drop the regular pistol maybe. Or maybe the shotgun. I've been seeing a lot of shotgun shell. No, I should just drop the stun prod. Unequip. <laughs> the equipment doesn't drop it. Um, equip? No. Yeah, so far, uh, I don't feel too connected with the story, but I do admire what is trying to ha what's trying to unfold before my eyes. I don't think I am deeply knowledgeable about what's happening to me in the story. I just feel as though I know as much as the robot that I'm taking the point of view from. All right, oh, I kind of hate doing this, but I need to get rid of it. Alright, to get rid of it, I had to go use it, so I will now go hit, go find some people to hunt. Come here, lady. Alright, that's perfect. Let's go find another one. <laughs> Please let there be another person here. Darn, okay. Oh my god, I swear. Oh yo, what the heck? Uh There's too many things in this room for me to collect up right now. So I will, um... Collect what I need to collect right now for this. I'll come back. I'll come back for some stuff. This is the... Oh, this is save... I didn't have to drop my stun gun stuff. Because there was actually a room for me to save my progress and everything. And here it was being like a... A weirdo with my items. I like to imagine the note was added in an update. I figure it was when Jerry accidentally made tube A into 100 for the first time, but then she resetted it. I, I figured that there was some part of me that was really close to it, somewhere unconsciously. Repair spray. This one will what? Medium amount of health. I actually put this away. Put away. Put away that. Um, shotgun. Photograph. I'm gonna put away the photograph as well. I'll, I don't know if the photograph is needed because in one of the cutscenes, we pull up the photograph of the girl and was like, hey, have you seen her before? Kind of thing. I'm actually going to take that back just because that might be useful to us. What's this? No, I'll just, I'll just leave it here. I shall I'll pick it up, but then I'll put it back in the storage. <laughs> I don't feel safe using close range weapons. Are we good? No. 
that should open up a few more slots for us to make use of because I'm, I'm i'm a hoarder when it comes to not making use of my items yeah i believe that's the whole gimmick it's like a pov store unfolding all i will say is be a loot goblin i put the setting so that i oh no more arms pick up okay that's it I'm gonna put away the photograph that or maybe gun. I don't know. I'll put away the gun. I'll put away I'll put away the photograph for sure. Okay. Wait, how many storage space do we even have? Alright, that's it. No more though. <laughs> We're gonna be loot goblin in these parts. Flooded office. Looks like we export everything here. But then there's some um things that are not picked up yet. There's a cassette tape in the other room that I came from, but I couldn't pick it up yet. So I'll just pick up one of the cassette tape and see what that really gives us. In my opinion, you need if you used it once, you don't need it again. Use what? The stun gun thing? The stun gun thing is a nice um uh what's it? Nice, uh, uh, backup plan when the bullets run out. Okay, video cassette tape. But I think there's also another video cassette tape here, too, right? Oh. <laughs> ah! Ay, yo, 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 yo. I don't know if I shot my gun for this. Oh my god. I my mommy, I'm, I'm gonna die a uh, young death at this rate. Oh, what? Whoa, 10 12 millimeter? That's definitely not for a shotgun. Haji, welcome, welcome. How are you? Oh, Scantron test sheet. Personal grievance form. Full protector ID of unit filing grievance is a replica. Um, date of time incident all the time in the medical wing. Elf keeps reusing my wrench and misplacing the 10 millimeter socket. I've been reprimanded for not repairing the fan in the vent in the lower level, but I can't remove the vent cover without 10 millimeter socket. No, she's doing it on purpose. <laughs> What's going on in here? Eh? What's oh, there's paper in here. Well, you see the fan blade. There it is. Too narrow. Well, hum, hum. Do I have a wrench? I don't have a wrench for this. So unfortunately, we can't reach out. I kind of like that though. Ah! That's my water bottle. Oh my god. My water bottle just tried to uncrinkle itself for no reason. <laughs> Not bad, guys. So that there's a vent there. Let me see if the map. Okay, so the vent room will mark itself as the vent room with the little red thing. Okay, we should be good now. Oh my... Don't you hate it when your water bottle starts to unfurl itself and it makes a quick look? We're leaving. We're leaving. We don't got time for you. I don't got bullets for you either. Oh, we're good. Oh, where is the exit? I think the exit was somewhere around these rooms. Pardon me, because I kind of forgot where I was. Was I the injured? I see like the red haze around my vision. Let me check. I don't know. I think I'm okay. I will say this. Um, you are the only other person I've seen play this. I'm so happy. Oh, thank you. I'm happy that you love the game so much that you want to um, watch a replay of it too. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. There's no like boring parts to the game at all. And I'm getting used to the fear factor in this game. So that's also like a nice plus side to the whole thing. Where am I? <laughs> oh, that's where I've been. Okay. Let me see if see. Water ball jump scare is a new one. It's because the eeriness of the whole game makes me not very comfortable with the way things are panning out here. Uh, waiting room. Wait, so I was at the... Where is it? The imaging area? The morgue. There was a area where I couldn't open the door. I need a blank key as well. Okay, so we will go to... The uh, not the x-ray room. There's an area that needed the blank card. I just forgot where I was, guys. 
Okay, we'll do our best. Is it this room? No, no, this pump room gives me PTSD. <laughs> That water bottle is a paid actor. That water bottle is here to increase my heart. Bro, what the? What the, I thought it was dead. I thought that creature was dead. Why? It just got up all of a sudden. All right, so we have one of the keys here. Um, what key did I have? The video cassette this is a water key, water key. It? Hold on, I did something wrong. One of these is the water. Water with W. You know, it's gonna be a long puzzle when they have more than one key for you to unlock with this. We're gonna go many, many places. You know, yesterday we played, um, <laughs> the one brain game and I, I screamed when that chick came out of the hen. I guess it made sense, but I don't know why my brain decided that it was gonna be a horror show. Because I believe I'd be going this way. Or this? Oh, I'm gonna save here actually, because we made a decent amount of progress that I want to lose right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we were about to talk about um this one thing. Um, recently the iOS App Store released a app called Delta Emulator or something. Guys, I, I told you before, haven't I, that my childhood never had a handheld gaming device because. You know, I never asked for it. I didn't think I needed it. And so a lot of my childhood spent growing on PC and stuff. Now, I'm actually <laughs> reliving a lot of the childhood I missed out. Um, I downloaded Nintendogs, played a little bit with Ron with it. Um, and I'm currently playing Professor Layton in the Curious Village. So <laughs> I also asked around on Twitter about games I can play on the Nintendo DS. Um, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, the NES, SNES, and it's been kind of exploring with that. Hi, Little Sergei. Welcome, welcome. Oh, uh, blank key's done. Now what? Oh, this is the thing, right? The find pattern. Well, how does this work? Oh, this is the one thing I took a picture of because the x-ray. Hi, Felice. Hi, do you love Signalis or do you love Signalis? I'm scared of Signalis. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't hate it though. I don't hate it at all. I I enjoyed the way the way it's been playing out for me. So, could I ask you like where you guys how'd you guys find out about this game? Um, because this game came out in what 22, so it came out two years ago. Like if I saw this game on the Steam Store, I wouldn't have thought, oh, I should recommend this to my friend. I never would have thought of that. I would thought like, oh, you know, maybe it's like a low key kind of game. Okay, so three, four, five, three, four, five. Select starting node or here. Oh. So, I think I go up here, down here. Is that it? The fine pattern. Uh oh. Well, no, I think I had it before. There was a card key that I saw. Oh, you know what? Orientation to card key matters too. Hold up. <laughs> Maybe I'll find my pattern again. I found it through a lore video. Oh, a lore video for Signalis or something. Okay, so I see what I need to do. So I need to go to this corner here. No. This corner here. Because the image I'm looking at is upside down actually. So you remember we saw the x-ray of this card actually in the x-ray room? Now I'm trying to try to match the whole thing because I have it upside down on my screen and I don't really do well with visualizing the whole thing, so. Have you checked the radio? I have not checked the radio. Why? I remember the radio being like a core thing for, um, was it for, for Leo? Because Leo mentioned there was like a, a Swedish radio station. If you scroll up through the radio station on there. So I think this is how it is, right? Hold up. Heard us away. This should be the corner, okay? And then go up one. And then go right one. And then go up one. Go right and then down. Yeah, so F. 
I don't know if this is correct. I, I hope so. Mm, yeah, it looks like what I had. I, I think. Let me, let me check. Uh, I, I hope that works. I don't know what I got a blank key for, because I don't think they use it anywhere. Before we do anything crazy, let us please reload our gun. That's been... That was one of the things that killed me back then. Alright, I'm actually at 7 bullets, so I don't need to worry about too much about the guns. Alright. I will now... Say it again. Well, is the Santa corner is in the correct orientation? I think so. I think so. I can double check on it too. We can double check in the, um, the x-ray room as well. <laughs> Something that is slightly off though is the number of boxes and that's where I'm kind of questioning whether or not I got it correct in that way. Um, was it this room? I don't have that room key. There's so many room keys in this particular level. Right here. Right here, right here. Oh, here it is. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I, I could be wrong on this. I'm a little bit unsure. Cause you don't know, just if you flip this around, it's gonna be like different too, isn't it? Okay, okay. Let me see. Inspect the card that I have. I think I got it pretty good. Mm -hmm. Going left to right, the corner here. So at the corner. Let's look at this, right? It's gonna make a, a semi-square box, the very top, near the cutoff corner, and then it's gonna go down in like a cascading staircase. So, that's what we're gonna have here. I think I did it like this. It's supposed to be in... Ooh. Is this orientation right here? Oh, eh? Did, it, did, did I do it wrong? Oh no. <laughs> Wait, I definitely did this wrong. Okay, okay, okay. I definitely did this wrong. I apologize for that. I the car... Car key is a hard thing to remember, okay? Keeping him um, on the image. Okay, I did his wrong. <laughs> oh. Oh. They don't let you take a copy, a photograph copy of the whole thing. You're supposed to actually do a pen and paper. A game that makes you spit out a pen and paper is actually a very admirable thing. Where is it? Where is it? Auto injector? Oh no, I'm picking up stuff. I sh uh, I don't have no room for these things. Since the ration plan is changed again, we're short on cooking repair spray. Turn out we make our own by combining the K, the heart, and slowly use the repair patches. I don't know what this thing's talking about because I don't remember actually coming into the room. Okay, nothing here. <laughs> It. It's also this room too, right? Oh, what is that one scary room when this stuff pops out at you? I don't think there's anything else here except for... Okay, let's go back. Let's do this properly one more time. As you guys know, my memory of things things are not the best. Okay, okay. So, um, that comes to the other topic I had in mind before I mess up this whole entire thing. Um, There's the... Apple Star finally realized that emulations are not illegal, so they decided to lift up on their original ban on those things. And so, I've been really enjoying my time just exploring games that I never have to play on the handheld device. It feels so late though, because some games really are just through, through nostalgia lens. <laughs> I say that because as I'm playing Professor Layton, this my first time playing Professor Layton, so I didn't know what kind of puzzle it was going to be met with. But, um... How do I... Let me see. Let me see this. I have to rotate the, the corner of this whole thing. Okay, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to rotate the corner. Okay. Let me go back real quick. I'll run there. The thing with Professor Layton is that the puzzles there are... They're not like hard they're hard depending on how much coins they're worth right so the easiest one is just me solving a riddle oh what's the last letter of the alphabet and the answer is like t or whatever 
It's not too much of an issue. Hi, Blue. Welcome, welcome. How are you? So, corner at the bottom for this one. Eh. Corner at the bottom. Because I'm not really good at rotating images. There you go. That's what I need. <laughs> I'm copying down here. I apologize for the music stopping because I'm interacting with stuff outside the game. Now that should be good, right? Was the corner at the bottom or the corner at the top? You know what? I'll just take a second image just in case I'm an idiot and it's actually at the very top. <laughs> uh, to be honest, playing old game I never got to play is nostalgic. There is a degree of nostalgia with it, not gonna lie. I never played Professor Layton, but I was really taken aback by the voice acting that came through on it and also um, just the split 3DS screen because that is such a revolutionary way to play video games back then and it still kind of holds a, a strong memory for a lot of us. When you had a split screen, it offers so much more creativity when your creativity is confined to what you're able to do on that kind of device. Well, two small screens, by the way. Can you imagine the amount of people, the amount of game developers that molded trying to fit their uh, their game to it? Okay, so this is actually how it's supposed- uh oh This? This here, this here, this one, this one, this one, this one. There you go! I did it now. I did it properly, for sure. Look at that! <laughs> Ah. Alright, let me expect this to make sure it, it looks exactly like the image I had in, on the screen cap. Because if it's already messed up, then I just... Uh, let's see. Corner at the bottom left. This is kind of hard. Alright, there you go. It's corner is top right. That's okay, too. I think I have it also. <laughs> awesome, awesome. We have the correct one this time. Awesome, awesome. I'm very excited. I'm not sure what the key is for, but we'll find out in, in the future, probably. They call it a anemoia or a soldier for a time or place one has never known. Dual screen creativity was crazy, but it's also why a lot of games don't translate too well off with the system itself. Yeah, that's true. That is true. But... Um... I think that there's a beauty in being able to experience the media in the format that is intended to be um, experienced in. I'm back. Did you finish the what? Yes, Leo. I'm so sad. I was actually really close without realizing it. Then I messed up the very end. <laughs> we finished the water puzzle. We got the one water key involved with it too. Okay, so there is a closed off door at the very end of this whole room based on this image here. Oops. There's an orange thing. X-ray? X-ray imaging. Card PC. And then the morgue. And then the north corridor. Let's just check the morgue real quick then. That might have something for us there. Why is your heart rate racing for getting this right more than you getting scared? No, what the? <laughs> I can't be a little bit excited for what I'm experiencing here. Let's see the room. Damn. Okay, so we have like um, a blank key with some dots on it. Not sure what that's for. But we're not really supposed to be here anymore, I think. There's some new areas that I actually ha haven't touched yet. I'm setting up straighter, that's why. <laughs> Oops, not that button. Let's see, one more door. There's a door at the bottom left. There's also the elevator lobby as well. Mm hmm. Let's go to the elevator lobby there in the west corridor because there is one great outdoor so i might as well get the information for that one properly scattered on everything you're also looking blue today i'm a little bit blue because <laughs> i want to get into the mode you know the whole the whole scene of it am i in the right one? Oh, i can't go down there because it only opens one way never mind Without a hit, that puzzle's mess. Congrats for getting it close, though. I wish I could look cool. I was so close to looking cool to everyone, but then I messed up. Also, this is a shameful part there. Okay, so we're in this door. Oh, there's a couple doors here we actually haven't really um, explored yet. There's two great outdoors. Oh, yeah, because of this thing here. 
that's one of the things. Did you use the... How, how long did it take you to solve the puzzle? Was it this one like this for? This is the one I did not touch yet. Yeah, yeah, this is a new room for me. Oh man, the repair spray. I don't have any room anymore. The wrench! I don't have room for the wrench. Okay. Can we drop stuff? I don't know if we can drop stuff. Video? Um... Okay, so here's the game plan, guys. We're gonna go back to <laughs> the storage room. Ah, do you know that? Why is she in there? Hold up. Oh my god. She was not supposed to be there. <laughs> she wasn't supposed to be like, directly in the front of the whole door. Is it this one? You read the note, you couldn't do it. That's okay. It makes me feel better if people read the note. I wonder why they did that though. I heard that it's a reference to like an RE, RE thing where they have the, the notes and stuff laid out. New goblin, new goblin. <laughs> we can put this video cassette for later. I, or that might be useful for something later. So we're gonna store this um, auto injection. I'm not sure what it does, but I'm sure it's useful. There's so much stuff I want to carry on me. Why did they have to be limited to stuff? These are all small things that you can... Um, just carry on you no matter what. I'm gonna put away the health. No, I need weapons. Two weapons. A health patch. This turn turn spell could be useful. A blankie. Oh, this video cassette is kind of dumb, isn't it? This is making me anxious for no reason. Ah, they might be used for this. You don't know. I'll put it away. You're right. I should stop being a goblin. I I have no pockets on this body of mine. You couldn't tell, but I don't have anything. No pockets whatsoever. This is... My body is my clothes kind of thing. Repair? Patch would repair spray. Why didn't you tell me that? Well, I don't have the spray anymore, I think. I, I put it in the room or something or other. Where did it go before? Not here, did I? Does give a little push for them? Uh, pro people prob probably people play tested that segment. They were stuck there for some time. It's kind of mean a little bit, don't you think? <laughs> it's kind of funny because the logical thing is like, ah, oh, I can't do this puzzle. So I'm just going to skip it and come back to it. And then you find a note and then that's what happens. Wait, I can't go here. I forgot. All right, I've... Not, not only am I a loot goblin, I'm also a, a lost... A lost person. Okay, wait. <laughs> oh yeah, I can go there. I can go there and then to the left. Explain a note, do you just dismiss it? No, no, I did see that part. But honestly, there's just so much information to be had in this game. Was it here that I went to? Yeah, that's right, I was here. Okay, let's see this. So, repair spray. Thank you for remembering it on my behalf, though. I kind of appreciate that. Okay, nice. Gives me a medium of health from it, too. So, once we pick this up, we can also combine the wrench together. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Is it like the newest model? Hold up. All-purpose repair worker replica Ara. Sorry, I should change your name to something else, right? You don't want to hear me say that. <laughs> it's kind of cool that they listen to like playtesters and stuff, saying like, "Hey, it's too hard. You can't even put this water stuff on us." I think the water, um, the water puzzle would be a lot easier if you could just pour between each one. But not gonna lie, the UI for the water stuff, because there's like two buttons for each of the letters, right? It was kind of complicated to, to follow through with. Um, I remember the wrench was needed for the one area at the bathroom or something. But I just can't remember how to get to the bathroom, so let me see if I can find that. Oh, I haven't gone to the area to the right of this whole place, too. Sorry, uh, this stream's gonna be a lot of map pulling, because that's how much I needed it. Alright. I don't know what's going on. 
a stun gun here. Oh. Oh, I don't have any more space for stuff. Information for user. Ejection. What is the instant help? How to... It's a sterile solution for emergency situation. Instantly act on the replica circulatory system, restoring system health. Intended to use to avoid critical system failure in replica frame, generation 3 and up. Um, you can also equip it in the inventory screen tool slot to use on the move. Use the auto ejector on the move, hold C for tire duration ejection. Will auto activate? Will activate automatically when the replica will otherwise fail, preventing it from system failure. Okay. So it seems like this item here is sort of a safety net if things were to go awry. I'm gonna actually put that in there. I don't I don't mind. Um I think it's a better alternative compared to like a stunning grenade thing. I'm pretty good about managing my bullets and making sure those are always full for me, so I don't have to worry about it as much. Ten millimeter socket? I lost so many telemeter sockets. <laughs> Hikari! Hikari Aoi! Hello, hello! Oh, your name is so pretty! You like have a little flare next to your name and stuff. Most people do like emojis, but you actually have like the... <laughs> the custom text for it. Kill yourself then? I don't think I can kill myself right now. God forbid girl having pockets. <laughs> Especially when you're a robot. Okay, so this is what? Oops. Alina's death. Diary? Only knows the girl of a photograph we have before, so this will be relevant to us probably. Something is wrong. Nobody would tell me what's happening, but ever since I woke up, everyone has been behaving strangely. The protectors won't let me leave my room and return to work even though the wound from my fall is already healed. I think there must have been an accident in the mine. I overheard two Uli's whispering in front of my room that they're running out of staff. I'm worried that something has happened to Alster. I haven't heard from him in a while. I can't just sit around any longer. Yo! Wait, Alina is my, my girlfriend, right? <laughs> it? No, I don't have a video cassette. Oh, I do have a video cassette. Never mind. Huh? Oh, here I am playing first person point of view again. You're still hurt. Okay, I'll, I'll heal up later. I didn't. I knew I was hurt, but I didn't want to. You don't mean you're hurt for like. Let's say you're 100 HP and then suddenly you're 98 HP. But the game tells you like, hey, you're hurt. The red aura. I wouldn't want to heal up only two. <laughs> no, we're playing the train horror game people are playing these days. I'm scared, y'all. I'll take this. <laughs> gold key. Oh, gold key is one of the doors. One of the keys we need for the stuff. Uh, that was how you get the gold key. I see. Hello, welcome. Sep Sepetra? Sepetra uh, EB. That's a really long name. <laughs> Less letters than 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 needed, but I just said the whole thing because I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> Alright, let me use a patch then. I do have two patches, so it's not the worst. TV gifted you a key? Nice. A TV gifted me a, t uh, a key. Actually, one of the easier keys to obtain. Alright. Nobody move. Oh, JK. Nobody move. Uh, there's actually more than one. Oh, you! You're still uh, standing? Oh, I missed. I wasted up more bullets than I wanted to in that situation. Oi. Oh. Hold on. I got scared because I didn't feel like I had enough bullets for such a situation. I only have one bullet. That's right. So I can use a shotgun. Shotgun now. Wait. Oh, wait, no. I can still use this, I think. Yeah, okay. I take it back. I can't reload it. I'm scared now because I don't feel like I have a lot of key on my on my, on my body. <laughs> All right, lady. What the heck? Is it working? There's two of them. No, she's not bothering me though, so I should just ignore her. Oh, okay. This this came in clutch. All right, now I got bullets. 
Now I got bullets to work with, and I need to reload this too. Okay, is there anything else here? <laughs> Wait, so how does that work? How's the logic of that work? Like, I can travel into TVs and stuff? Ayo! Oh, what the? Alright, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. A new restart, a new start of the scenario. I wasted one bullet because for some reason. Something about this game is that when you aim your bullets, there's an X box. Oh, sorry, sorry. How do you describe an extra box? Which means that it's not gonna hit them, I guess. See, like that. Then I can shoot it. Oh, it's still alive? Oh shit! Oh my god, okay, wait, wait, wait. How do I do this? How do I do this? Because I don't have more I don't have any more guns. Oh. Please just die. I wasted my bullets twice on the one character. Oh, hello, hello, hello. How's it going? It's going well. The game is actually really fun. The first week or the first day of playing this game definitely shook me up a little bit, but now I feel like I'm kind of in a good spot with this game. So, so now I'm kind of faring for a lot better. I can pick up everything but the repair spray. <laughs> Hold on. Oh man. Is it okay? We don't need repair spray all that much. How, how, what should I call you? Your name is Panzer Camp Wagon Mouse Battalion Africa Corps. <laughs> I'll call you Panzer because I think that's a fun name to say. Um, yeah. This part here. Um, wait. This is part with the TV stuff, right? It's not working. It's a very new room here. We have information for us. Patient Euler, S2321. Patient complained about severe nausea and headaches, admitted to hospital wing after vomiting oxygen fluid during work. Clinical picture in line with other recent case among protector staff. Well, we have no indication what caused syndrome observing similar stuff. Oh, this is, um, so apparently all the robots and androids are, are sick or something. She may be a robot, but it takes time to aim. They didn't put auto lock in her bios. I, there's an option in the setting to put on the auto lock. I could have sworn I had that set on. Oh god, skin is peeling after five cycles. Vision is going blind. Oh, what the heck? Apparently, there's like a whole sickness that's going around with these um, androids and stuff, right? Nothing here for us. I forgot the shotgun shell on the file cabinet. Is there one on this one or the other room that we we're in before? We should take the time to actually reload now, since we have the... Actually, I forgot. I thought I could reload outside of it. Oh, it's already loaded. We're good, we're good. We're good! Are you seeing this one I miss out here? Because this orange thing is just a healing thing. Filing cabinet? Or is this the one down here? No, no, no. We don't have anything here. We're good, we're good. Okay, let me check the map here to make sure we have everything covered. There's VCR player that we went through. Okay, there's three more rooms that we haven't explored yet. Three more doors. I wish they had like a mini map uh, at the top or something except me having to pull up the whole thing. But I see why they did that. They want to kind of simplify. I almost thought about shooting her. <laughs> oh, that would have been really bad of me. I think you can shoot like the NPCs and stuff. Everyone's turned weird. I'm the only one left, I, I think. Will I get sick like the others do? I'm scared. I don't want to die. That's my thumbnail right there. I'm scared too. <laughs> that's not a that's not a shotgun shell. That filing cabinet actually had a healing gun thing. Let's have room for it. That's all. That's all. Wall safe code. It's come to my attention at least one worker might be aware of the code broadcasting frequency for a protocol. Factor wall safe. Ah, we already knew about that thing. I guess we're here for for her 
uh, mental well-being. This one is locked, as we discovered earlier. This one too. All right, so um, repair spray combined with a patch. Yeah, I don't have any more room for for stuff. I don't think I need to heal all that much. If I had to heal so often, it probably means I'm a bad player. <laughs> Which I'm not, by the way. Alright. The map. So you saw the map. We pretty much explored everything here. So what we're gonna do is go to... The waiting room. There's a 5S lock there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we needed. That's what we needed. Alright, let's go put our stuff there. We are progressing. We are progressing. This is a slow burn of a puzzle, to be honest. Uh, which one? We had the gold one, so this is for gold. K for gold. Um, there is a blank key. I don't know if the, if the blank key fits in any of these. Oh! Oh, because it was in the earth rock. That's why. So we need a fire key and an air key right now. That's going to be what our goal is going to uh, for this current run. I like this so far, I really do. I, I like puzzle games. In the I, I sent out a tweet about recommendation for games on the DS or Game Boy Advance Color or whatever. And one thing that I put out was that hey guys, I really like 999, the puzzle story game on the DS. If there's anything similar, please let me know. So I got a lot of good recommendation after that. Sword. Oh okay. I didn't actually realize it was here. This is in my inventory, right? Might be. Hold up. Wait, is it like a sword frequency? Seems in my... There it is. Nope, nope, nope. We're not working with that thing. Okay, I do have it now. It's more of a vibe than a horror game. Like the general atmosphere and stuff, right? Atmospheric horror. <laughs> So, let's evaluate what where your options are. I think there's an area downstairs as well. I could be wrong on that. Um, because it feels like we pretty much explored everything on the first map. I would hate to stray out so far into a different spot. Card, PC, office, reception. Um, elevator control room is still out of whack for us. We just have like um, a few more here and there. VCR player video okay so we're gonna try to find the last two keys for our progress today you know i should put a heart reminder for the first ah! what the fuck oh no hold on, hold on. man she can't aim i can't aim but never mind <sighs> hold on i know where to go we should go use the the ten, the, the 10 millimeter nut bolt thing that's what we need. You get the gun inside the x-ray machine? I couldn't. Oh, she's still standing. That's crazy. <sighs> I know where to go. I know where to go. I Because I remember we have the nuts in here. So we can go downstairs. She, I, I don't know why I get freaked out every now and then. I think... I do expect them to be there, but like not that close to me. Not here. Alright, we're gonna have to explore each room until I can find an area where I need to use the bolts. There was, um, there was a uh, fan that we need to unbolt. That's what it was, so that's what we're gonna go to. Let me just double check this area too, because I haven't... Oh my god. Why? Oh, hey! The scream gets to you. The scream does get to me though. Okay, here. This is our goal all, all along. I kind of feel really uncomfortable about the first person point of view stuff that he tried to put you through. Here we go. Let's use that. It? Eh? Why? I thought we have this thing for a reason. Okay, I have to click on it. Oh. <laughs> Okay, we're putting a hand through a fan. That's what we want. Where is it? There it is. Air key. I think that's it for us. 
Mm, after the air key, we need a fire key. That's something I don't know where it's gonna be. Not really for me. They sound like determinants. <laughs> I get more shooken up because I am in control of the character that I'm playing. I think I was just watching from someone else. It definitely loves in the horror aspect. Because I realized that when I watch someone else play horror, I don't get scared at all. Alright, let me just check what I have in my inventory. There's a lot of healing. <laughs> a lot of healing and stuff. Put away the wrench. Did I not put away? The wrench is put Oh. You know, no, no. I can put it down. Um, the fire key? What else is there? I think we explored pretty much all the rooms. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out once we put in the fire key then. Or the um, air key we have right now on us. What about horror movies? Oh man, I can't do horror movies. I really can't. <laughs> I, I suck at horror movies. I, I'm just bad with horror in general. I know people love the thrill that comes with horror media. That's why they like movies and games involving it. But I don't feel like I'm mentally ever prepared for those kind of stuff. Oh, actually, they put away the um the wrench for me, so I don't have to worry about it. I will save here, though. You like horror movies? For, for me, um, I think the beauty of horror is when you start consuming the one time, you start building up a tolerance for it, right? But horror movies and media is generally similar to, say, roller coasters, right? Once you get a taste of the thrill and over that, that fear and stuff, you are able to kind of overcome it. And you start to want more and more of it. This is where the water key was. I'm just checking all the room stuff. I remember the left, right side is the water puzzle. My, my oldest cousin, you know, he wants to find activities to, for us to bond over as a family. And one thing he suggested was like horror movies. And I was like, no. And he said, wow, what a buzzkill. <laughs> you can call me a buzzkill. I, I totally recognize it too. Um, I keep forgetting where the freaking room is for the one place. It's hard out here without a map. Okay, sorry. Where is it? And... Oh, yeah, yeah, it's on the right side. This one right here. Let's go! <laughs> the arrow key is in here. Something we gotta figure out is where the fire key is. That's the thing we don't have the key for. I think everything has been kind of explored already. I don't know what else there could be. Oh, you know what? There's a puzzle here for us. Something about a sword. What's this? A sword key. A... It's only two. These letters. The thing with the sword is that... Hold on, do I have like an object for this? Oh. Not this. Um... What's this? The AR quick carving construction form. Where's that one frequency? Is this one it? No. I forgot where I was. Ah, the sword business. I don't mind horror films, but can't do games myself. So you can just watch other people. Is that how it is? <laughs> Why is that? Is there much of a difference between gaming and, and watching movie horror? Because with movie horror, right, there's a certain level of um, pristine to it. Like, you... It looks... They can make horror with all the technology and funding they have and, and computer graphics and a hand at drawing the emotional appeal through it all. Like, there's just so much more they can do in media as well as games, but... I thought they'd have equal level of horror um, consumption. You get too immersed in them. Horror films, you know... That there are actors fake. Oh, okay, come on. That's like saying, oh, but you know, in games, you know, it's, it's, they're just characters in PNG's codes and they're fake. <laughs> can you play around with that logic? <laughs> you can play around that kind of logic for sure. Like, I get scared at times, but it's not the same in games. People use the logic of that, but. Oh, wait, there's, there's a door at the morgue I haven't checked out yet. Maybe. Okay, we'll go to the morgue then. I'm in this waiting room area. Go top right. 
Uh, okay, okay. I guess because um, you are the one of the actors, so to speak, in the horror game itself. I wonder if it's like a like a number one number one horror game that is like agreed upon to be like the scariest game of all time. You know what the one of the best horror game is though that I've read about? It's this one commercial done by was it Doritos or something? Incinerator room key. Ah oh, man. Oh, I don't have an incinerator room key. I'm actually gonna use a guide for this one because I think I explored everything, so I must have missed something. Sakurai, Smash Bros. creator, said he can't see horror games from consumer POV anymore. He keeps thinking, how did they do that effect? Basically thinking just ones and O's. No, I kind of understand it though. I understand why his brain is like that. Because when you're a creator, like let's say like um, you start getting to YouTube, right? For example, you start watching people's content, but then you start breaking it down in your head. Like, oh, how did they do this effect? How did they paste their movies and, and scenes? I can kind of understand his POV, but maybe because he's also a creator of sorts. When you're so involved with your game, when it's a horror and stuff, you start to become desensitized to it in a way. <sighs> okay, so I need incinerator key. Oh, you know what? This x-ray imaging... Yeah, I don't think it has anything else in there. I'll just double check to make sure, but... Um, what else is there? Change floor? The flooded office? Mmm, for the bathroom, pipes upstairs, the vents. The vents where we got it. This is the medical ward that we're in here. I am getting used to the whole map and stuff, I think. It's not too bad as much. Well, I don't know what this area is. I kind of forgot how I explored this area. I want you to get that revolver inside the x-ray machine. Okay, okay. Oh man, but I'm gonna have three weapons. That's so lame, poor genius. What is this? What is that? <laughs> they wouldn't just they wouldn't put like a thing throw me off track, would they? They wouldn't do such a thing. This is the brain. Oh, what is that? Can I grab that? Have toggle image mode. My head has that. Oh, because this is the brains of the um the robots and stuff. This thing, you want me to go grab this? How do I even grab it? It's only half a gun too. I don't think you can grab it for genius. Oh, it can break the glass. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I break the glass with a gun? I have one bullet on each of these guys. Hold on, can I reload any of them? Oh god, we're like getting bulletless. Alright. <sighs> uh, do I have a wrench? <laughs> do I still have the wrench on me? I don't have the wrench anymore. Oh god, I'm just, I'm just scared because I don't have any more bullets after this. I only have one other bullet. Alright, let me just do a- no, 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 I gotta do on this gun. Oh, you know, it doesn't work! It doesn't work like that! Ow! It's okay. That's how it works. It's okay. Scarier than the chicks from the playables? <laughs> what is? Bad job, Bob. Oh wait, is this the wire stuff I can do? I'm sure you can. I just don't think I have the optic to to break it with. I got no more bullets in this. Now I have this one here. Is there a door to the right? I tried looking at it. No, there's no door here. Then on, on the up behind the apparatus, inspect this. I'm checking around the room. I don't think there is anything else here. Uh, any of it? I think I got my heart rate increased when I got the puzzle correct, apparently, from what Vivid told me. He's like, why did you... Why did your heart rate increase from that scene of you solving the puzzle and not being scared by the... <laughs> by the creature or whatever? I don't know. You think the, do you think the heart rate is broken? Maybe I can start increasing my heart rate and see what happens. 
Oh, they drink some water. It's, it's, it's a little stuffy, not gonna lie. If you don't know what a heart rate monitor looks like, for sports people, they have this thing they wrap around their chest. Yeah, this is this thing wrapping around my chest right now. It's really constraining. Jumping jacks? <laughs> okay, let's do it. Hold on, hold on. Really, let's try this out real quick. Or I can just breathe really fast, right? Oh, I can smell my anxiety. Ugh. I should stop actually. I'm gonna die. My heart rate actually went up. I'm gonna do that a little bit. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll come back. <laughs> it's funny how the heart rate monitor always has the neon number appearance too. Oh, you know, um, it's because it comes from a website, right, called Pulsoid. That website has a preset of other numbers too, other like style. Like they have RE style heart rate monitor. They have a phasmophobia style heart rate monitor. But honestly, this one is simple and clean because this uh, this one in particular is for Beat Saber. It's a uh... <sighs> man, it's hard. It's the uh, what is it? Oh, can I hit like C? No, no. How do I hit this? I think I'm lying to you. It's TIL. T RE monitor would go hard. Do you think it's good or RE? Okay. I think I think it's time to hit up a guide for, for this. Because the fire key. Fire key is hard to find right now. And I can't find it for the life of me right now either. I do try to play... Signalis. So right now I'm playing Signalis, right? I don't know how much of the game you played, Joe Bob. I'm trying to find the fire key for or the incinerator key, I think I believe. Is that the one it's called? Uh Incinerator on the vessel's third floor. Wait a minute. Is there a incinerator room in this place? There's a morgue, extra room, imaging, reception office. Corridor, nurse station, I see you. South corridor, pumps. You're further than I was. Then you're good though. I, I I did a lot of puzzles before you came into the stream. So don't, don't be scared. Nope, looks like there's no incinerator room, but there is a library. Wait. You think in that room with the, the fan and stuff, you climb into the hole, into like the air vents? They probably would not let you, right? Alright, I'm a little bit stuck here. There's actually nothing here, okay. Hmm, what's it, what's it, what's it? Good puzzles? Um... Honestly, the puzzles themselves are they're pretty okay. I don't think it's anything crazy in 999, if that's what you're wondering. It's pretty straightforward. It's like, hey, measure out these water levels. <laughs> hey, um, make sure you hold on to this key. It's really important. Wink, wink. That's the kind of puzzle that this game has. But I think it's pretty involved, though, which I kind of like about it. <laughs> are these the interrogation? Something that says like um incinerator room for us. I'm planning on playing, no clue if I should stream it or not though. I think it's worth streaming it. Um because it's a pretty fun game and it's a good experience as well. They probably tell you you can. Can what? Pretty much RE puzzles then? I don't think you're ever gonna get 99 then though <laughs> puzzling. On the third floor, the medical ward. Gas bell puzzle? Is there a gas bell puzzle? Oh, this is, this is hard, man. Okay, let me go back. I don't have, like, much of a weapon on me. I'll put on the one weapon that I have on me, which is this pistol. Okay, I'm gonna take it back. This pistol has no bullets either. I have no money. 
<laughs> I just have no bullets in general? Oh my god, I must have something in storage for sure. Man. Come on. Past Jurgen must have saved some bullets. Right? Uh, I do have a sun prod. That might be usable. <laughs> I'll take it. You have a tough, tough position? We... Pasture is a murder machine? No, pasture wastes their bullets. I never had to count my bullets before, but this is one of the cases where you do want to count your bullets. Because of how up, up frequent these guys pop up, and sometimes you can run past them, but sometimes you're just forced to run your hands over it. Is it called Fire Key? Yes, yeah, it's called Fire Key. Fire Key of Signalis. Where is it? Wall safe? Check your memory. Is there a wall safe or something? What is this wall safe stuff? Incinerator room? What 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 what's the incinerator room? I, I didn't realize there was a goal. Pacifist run? <laughs> you know, there must be some some fanatic of the games that have done passive run and and like speed run stuff, you know. Okay, where's the incinerator? Um. Wait, how does this work? Was in a safe. Did I do something wrong? Is there safes in one of these rooms? There is. Oh, actually, there's staircase for for two places. I just realized. Okay, we'll try. We'll try going there then. Yeah, yeah, I know. I need. I know. I need a key to access the room. I'm just having trouble right now figuring out where that key is specifically. Is it on her? No, it's not gonna be on her. Might be here though. Not here. Not here. Not here. Is this this one where he goes up? I'm just gonna double check the rooms that I've been in. This one doesn't have it. It's all done. Um, I'm gonna save this. The way the first se person section look remind me of 999 a lot. Like, with how not real they look, if that makes sense. Does it look not real? The first person point of view kind of weirds me out a little bit, because... Um, I feel like I'm on the verge. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm on the verge of just... Uh... Being motion sick if I'm in that form too long. I hope it stays the third person form for as long as it can. It's just that one room. Is there anything else for us to do here? I don't think so. Sorry, I know why you're probably thinking why is this zoomed in? It's because there was a key there originally. Is there another room? I don't know where the um incinerator how to get to the room in particular. Hold up. Incinerator room? Is there such a thing? Nurse station. There's a nurse station? Okay, okay. I do recall there was a nurse station in the first room. Not here, not here. So it's gonna be upstairs. Nurse station. I must have forgot about it, maybe because it was from my first week run. And when that happens and there's a long gap between the runs, I, it's hard for me to remember some information key facts. My bad, my bad. I will now go now. <laughs> the map should tell you where it is. Apparently, it was... No, the map will not tell me sometimes. The map will tell you like key stuff in that room for you to remember. As far as I'm aware. Hold up. The map doesn't highlight it? Weird. It must have been, it must have been because I didn't uh, check up on it, that's why. So we're gonna go to the right... Up here? Up here, I believe. And then we're gonna go one more here. Now pull up the map one last time, so I hope for you... Hopefully you guys who are watching this... Are 
not too bothered by it. Alright, so. We're in here. We are in the, the nurse station. Okay. Alright, alright. So we gotta go this way, I believe. And there should be three doors. One just three door, you go into the third room. What? Why did they come back alive? Oh! I'm taking this disposable sun prod thing because I ain't gonna survive. <laughs> I'm, I'm equipping that. I don't have any bullets uh, for free reference. I so we're gonna pick up the stun stun gun I didn't use. Oh, this is the thing with the sword. Okay, so what they want us to do is let's take a note. We have notes for this. The sword thing here. Oops. We saw this exact thing that they gave to us. Mmm, 12790. Hey, 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 I cycle. What what were you saying? Don't get out of line right now. I'm trying to think. Okay, wait. So they give us A N B H S R Z E K 12790. Ooh. <laughs> There was a one thing I think that had like the, all the symbols and stuff. I just can't remember where it was. No, not here. There was. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Frequencies? No. Where is it? 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 There was like, a list of not dictionary. note there was like a list of like um like uh what's it was it it's like sun moon uh stuff like that but i kind of forgot where it was because i read so many things since my, my time here <laughs> like whatever we'll figure out what this that walking around the horfix shop shaving every piece of paper into my pocket surely i need it later no no this isn't in your memory file because you're an android of sorts only one, two, seven, nine, oh. The problem is that... Oh, you know... Man, I don't know where it is. Keep records? Oh. Wall safe code. It's not this one. Alright, you guys gonna have to... Eh! Not this one. The radio freaks me out when I don't want to use it. Not this one. Well, not this one. We're just gonna run through all of it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Up in here, maybe. No, it's interrogation part. And do I just remember better? They remember way better than us. I can't imagine using that much brain power just for storage and information storing. Oh, is this the one they had? No! For sure, they gave us something. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, okay. I'm gonna get babies here. I also had it somewhere here on my phone. Sword is two two six. All right, here it is. I couldn't find it on here, but I had it <laughs> a picture of it on my phone at the very least. Okay, so two two five six. Uh, was it? Was it? Was it? E. Sword is two two. I didn't pull this number randomly from anywhere. It's one of the paper notes. Oh, I found it though. It's on the bloody note. Oh well. 226. Let's go. Two. Hi, LD. Welcome, welcome. Oh, you're sleepy? Oh no. Two six. Uh it. Do it again. I missed it. Five, six, seven, eight. Six, five, six, seven. Wait, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight, six. I don't know why they blocked the number though. Mm, the sword number on there too. Sorry, I shouldn't have the radio on my head. <laughs> All right. Five, seven, eight, 
sick. It wouldn't be that easy, of course. This is six the end of the 14 years. I changed the password for my Steam account like five times this past month. Oh, I know what you mean. When I sign up for a website now, I kind of make a, like a unique password for that website specifically because I'm, I'm worried about whatever that may happen to me. So I put like random passwords, like I have objects around my room, objects that I see flying out the door. <laughs> you wish I had Android memory. That's good though. It's good that you toss up your, you mix up your your password. No one can guess what is needed. There's a friendly NPC. There is a friendly NPCs. They're not all friendly though. Some of them are mean as heck. <laughs> Some of them will maul you down, which you saw before. Alright, let's see. This is... Sword. So, thinking about the sword safe stuff. It does look like the one on the left side. Mm, five, six, seven, eight. Why did they tell us that? But then have this thing be the two. I have the same password for everything. I'm screwed. Don't do that, Royal! Also, welcome, bro. Welcome, Steve. I did that as a kid, but you know, I didn't have any um, crucial information as a kid to to keep secret. But now, as an adult, I have like a whole bunch of um, things to worry about, like banking and whatnot. It's good practice to vary up your password. You forget the password? Well, just go to your your Gmail or whatever. It's scary though, because I realized that if someone compromised my Gmail, it's probably game over. Because I don't remember the individual password to stuff. <laughs> I don't. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, wait. So that's that. Two, two, six for the sword symbol. Five, six, seven, eight, six. I don't know why. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, then zero. You do same? No, 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 no. You know what I used to do before? I used to have the same password for my games because my logic was like, well, if I get scammed or like my, my gaming account gets hacked, then it, I shouldn't be gaming at all anyways. Um, What is this? Maybe you gotta use the sword document too? In this, there's one, two... Oh, you know what? A and... Okay, okay, I think I know what to do. Okay, okay, I think I get it now. Wait, I need to, I, I need a piece of paper for this? Hold on, hold on. Um, okay, okay. I think I know what to do because I realize this is different from the... the box safe that we've been looking at. Let me pull up like a... Uh, let's see, Microsoft Paint on this uh, computer real quick. That's the store. That's the store. That's all I needed. Paint. Where is it? All right, my my trusty friend, Microsoft Paint. Window capture this guy. Microsoft Paint. That okay? That worked out too. <laughs> all right. Let's let's do this properly. So. Here's what I'm thinking. It should be one, two. Wait, I don't know why I blurred out the number though. So you see the back of the block. Okay, wait, wait. Let me check this real quick. So we have A N B H S R. A N. Oh yeah, see these are the safe number is different from the one that is in our in our brain right now. That we remembered. Okay. Turn it off. This one's different too. So what we're gonna do is... Um, I apologize if the sound goes off. It's because when I click out the game, it doesn't play any music. So that's why. Basically mute the game. <laughs> so they want to do... One... I'm just gonna, let's just write it out. A and... B H S R Z da, 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 da. K E I think what was it number 
Uh, what else was there? There was also the number five, six, seven, eight. So maybe you only have to worry about those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But seven is available for us to use for some reason. Okay, okay. Two, three, four, five. This looks like a mess. I know. Six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. All right. All right. I think. I think we're cooking. <laughs> the, uh, the audacity of, of me sometimes may not pan out that well. I think we're supposed to overlay these together and then put the appropriate um, code and stuff. So we're going to go S first. S because that's where the 5 slot is. 5. So S. R. Z. I couldn't read my own handwriting. Eight, eight's a mystery actually, so that's where I have to figure out how that one works. It's not A. Is there a B in this? There's a B there. There's R there. There's an N, E. So we're gonna trying to figure out what the eight key is by doing process elimination for this. E zeros. K is nine. S is a five. H is a four. Z is a seven. F. Oh, okay, so we gotta press F here for an 8. Yeah, okay, I'll press F. And then 6 again, so just R. And that should open. Nice! <laughs> Our new code is out, thank you! MS Pain, don't show anymore. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Oh my god, do get excited when I get it right. I'm so weird. My, my, my heart rate goes up when I do get it right. Eyeball? Yes. Oh no, do I have space for this? I do have space for it. It's too easy. <laughs> okay, it wasn't that easy. It was just a little bit of a brain... brain puzzle. You look kind of familiar. Have you met before? At first, it's only Commander Falk who fell ill. Slowly, everyone started behaving strangely. That's dopamine? I hate that. Now my heart rate's going back down. They're like, no, you're not achieving anything else anymore. <laughs> A bit. Oh, man. Hire me. Hire me as a detective. Alright. Ah, yo! I, I forgot there's monsters in this game. <laughs> she came from the wall. Oh my god. Is this where it was? No, it wasn't here. My bad. It should be down. Down to the left. <sighs> I swear my heart rate spikes when I see the monster, not when I get something correct. When I get something correct, my heart rate doesn't feel like it's pumping that much, but apparently it does. Let's go! Last key! This tree was some, for some reason really really troublesome. Wait, do I not have it? Wait. What key did I get? Wait, I meant to keep for the incinerator room. Oh, the incinerator room key? My bad. <laughs> for, for early celebration on that front. My bad, my bad. Must be dopamine too. I think incinerator room was locked off. So that means in the map that we have here, Rooms that are marked as yellow are the ones that we should be looking out for. So right there, the morgue is not open. I believe that's the one we have to open with the key. Because anything else that's marked as orange in this map are rooms that we can't be opening in the first place. So let us go to... Oops, I don't know why I did that. Go here, go all the way to the right, and then all the way to the right again. All the way up, top right. Okay, okay, okay. Anticlimactic? What do you mean? Um, that's not mean anticlimactic. It's just disappointment. You can be nice about it. You don't have to be nice. But you can you can just say how it is. I'm more puzzles to go. Yeah. I wish it wasn't such a scary game though. I think this is the area I'm supposed to be in. The morgue. I don't have a gun, guys. I mean, I do have a gun. You know what they say, right? When you don't have something, you gotta be confident in telling people you do have it so they fear you. I have... Oh, throw my flare. Proper disposal of corpse. 
My, as you probably heard, there's multiple account amounts. Wait. Accounts of bodies of this decommissioned protectors spontaneously reactivating and acting in a different manner. Yes, that is true. There are some of these um, bots that come back to life. I experienced one of them. It seems that all affected units showed some sort of cancerous growth in their organic components. According to her, unless completely incinerated, growth may reactivate the replica even after it's been dead for hours. We don't know what causes. We're unsure who's affected. We can't keep with incinerating all the bodies. We just but just two incinerators that constantly recalibrate or improvising. These thermite flares um, are able to melt through replica armor, burn the organic component from the inside. Oh, okay. So they're like, if you run out of bullets, just toss these out because these will actually kill, kill them. Um... Hold on. What's this? I guess there's nothing else for it. These are just bodies, I just realized. Oh, that's grim. Um. Oh my god. This is... Wait, how does this work? Sorry, I, I, I'm a little bit lost. Hold on. There's gas, CO2, and O2. This is probably one of the last puzzles, right? Eh. <laughs> what does that do? Why did all these light up? The CO2 is not lit up though, that's the one thing. Oh. Actung? Actung? Is that like a hint for something? Oh, what does this thing do? Nothing basically. Oh, okay. CO2, gas, and oh. I'm gonna be real, not a lot to go by. <laughs> I don't recall any piece of paper or any information in our database that kind of helps us with that. Um, possibly... Nah, just funny word. German? Mantel loves the German bits in the stream. Attention? Actan! Actan! We did get a eyeball. Older photograph from memory module loads recording up to six. Huh? We're supposed to put this somewhere for sure. Clipping? Um? Let me not equip that. That's weird. Maybe? I just equipped a random eyeball onto me, but I have no idea what it does. Uh, inspect. I'm back kind of dozed off, but I miss what we're doing. You didn't miss too much. We... We basically solved the puzzle for... The, um... Incinerator key? Which are now in the room 4. Now we're in the new kind of puzzle spot here. This whole box thing. Congrats on your new eye. Maybe you shouldn't equip that. It seems a little bit sus. What if this eye is radioactive or it has like cancer or something and I just randomly equipped it? I don't think I should do that. <laughs> I should equip this thing because I don't have any more bullets. Okay, CO2? Uh, okay. What kind of stuff would give us hint of this thing? Did I come across something like that? There's nothing in our... Inventory that gave us that, right? You need new eyes? Why? Are you a uh, four eyes or something? Huh. What a nerd. You should do better. How could you have a choppy in your eyes? What's the goal of the puzzle? That's what I'm trying to figure out, Ginja. Because I don't have any... Um, frame of reference for what we're supposed to do. I guess the only clue we have is this proper disposal of corpse. This thermite stuff. The thermite stuff is where I'm not really sure of how it's supposed to be. Ah, uh, Let's see. I don't know if there's any information on this. Alright. Maybe we should just trial and error? Slay until... Okay. Okay, maybe it doesn't require anything. I have all the information I need. That's what I need to remember myself. It wasn't a safe. It's probably important. Maybe. <laughs> you know way too much. All right. So let's play around with this puzzle for a little bit. There's a lever here. When we pull it down, the black line here. Oh, obviously you're supposed to climb this up then. Pull it down. So we need to tweak this around. I don't know what tweaking these things does. So we're just going to play around with these vials until they hit what we need to hit. I'm releasing a lot of CO2 gas. <laughs> 
All right, so gas here. Let's try gas here as well. Oh, it's being real. They poke me in the eye for it. I don't think there's gonna actually there's actually hints to this except for playing around with the puzzle itself. Oh, it's very close. It's so close to hitting the bottom part. Maybe just turn them all down and see what happens to the right. It doesn't go uh, much more past the 90 degree angle that we see here. Um, we have to like do like a gentle cascade or something on this thing. Okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna play around with these until they hit the ideal angle. Look at that. We're trying to get this curvature. But all I'm getting is a straight line for this. So I'm not actually sure. What do the arrows on the side mean? Gas up. CO2 down. Gas down. Maybe I gotta go like this. CO2 and gas down. O2 up. I don't know what it means. Eh? Nothing happened? Um... Okay, wait, wait. Uh, let's, let's just figure it out. Because I'm not even sure what up and down is in this thing. Because that's what the box on the left side is referring to. First thing first is CO2 up. So let's see if going to the right is the up portion they want us to go into. Uh, so CO2 up. CO2 needs to go up some more. When is it going to go down? <laughs> CO2 up. So maybe the left side is up and the right side is down. Let's try that. I just want to see whether or not this light in particular switches over to this light. CO2... Ah, oh, okay. So if you want the numbers higher, you want to go to the left side. Alright. We'll just... Um, we'll just fix it one by one for now. Okay, it looks like CO2 is perfect. Awesome. Fill filler means error, I guess. Okay, okay. The gas. Gas is down. So we're going to go to the right side. And then we'll just do both. It, uh, so it says like both gas and O2 needs to go up. So let's go up here. It really is just trial and error for this kind of puzzle. <laughs> oh, it looks really close. And that's only O2. It needs to go up some more. Look at that. The lines about to match up right here. Please match up. Oh! Hey! <laughs> I'm shocked that the up is on the right side, right? I don't know how they decide whether something's up or down. Okay, hold up. <laughs> Part of my sadness right now. Maybe we can use this. Clip. So this is why my gas and electrician took so long because we're trying to play around with a puzzle. All right, let's try to use this. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I feel bad for wasting stuff, but honestly, there's like no way I could grab this without going back to the storage room. I didn't feel like going to the storage room either. Okay, let me go equip a new item. I don't have to worry about that anymore. Like I mentioned, uh, for those of you guys who don't know, I don't have any bullets except for the stun gun that I have. I only have two uses out of it, too. Okay. You know what I want for my house? I want, like, uh, solar panels, but solar panels is still kind of expensive, isn't it? I don't need to go here. If you got no ammo, you can store your guns. <laughs> No, but what I find the bullets for that gun, you know? That's what it's all about. 
It's here. Right here, guys. Finally, we gathered all the keys. <laughs> Oh? Yeah, it's shotgun rounds. Okay, wait. We use we like reload. That means that requires us to put this. Nice. Now we're ready. We're overloaded. Oh, ten ammo. Oh, you shouldn't have. Oh my god. Reload this. Nah. <laughs> Look good. Solar panels are expensive, yeah, it takes a few years to pay off, but it's worth it in the long term. Yeah, for sure. But I don't think we have like a reputable solar panel provider where I am around. Alright, we're good. We're glad of progress recording and everything. We are making pretty good um adjustments to this. I'm gonna be greedy. Pick all this up. I think there's stuff we, we could pick up from our end. We could also put some stuff in storage. Um Oh, these all feel so important. I'm gonna put the dermite flare inside there because honestly, I, I don't know when I'm gonna use it, so we'll put that there. Hmm? Hmm? Yeah. Dropping down. Please don't let there be like stuff. Eh? Ooh. Eh? It looks like. The robot took over the body that was inside of it. Oh, That's why they gave me so many bullets. Ah, no, 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 no. Ah, no. I must do. Eh? It's also a robot. Yeah. Ah, he jumped, jumped. I can't go close to it. Ah. Ouch, 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 ouch. Oh man, you like click on this thing. I have a shotgun. You know how useless that is? Alright, now I'm not so useless. Oh my god, this thing's in the way. I am. This is not the angle. This angle sucks. This angle sucks. This angle sucks somehow. I don't know why. But this angle sucks, apparently. This angle too. I am literally in his face. Why can't I just shoot him? Alright, we're gonna stand here. Oh my god, can he like not do that? Can he like shoot him here? And I go. Ow, 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 I'm bleeding, 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 bleeding. Ay, 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 where's the bleeding patch? Oh my god. Oh, he's reloading right here. I can shoot him. I can't shoot him for some reason. Hold up. There has to be something that I have to do first before I do anything crazy. Okay, maybe I got shooting behind? No. No. Hi, Tony Park. Yeah. I'm so sorry, I gotta put a pause on the solar conversation a little bit. Or right, let's try let's try shotgun. Oh, you know there's some solar flare stuff that I put away in store. Hey yo! Why? Eh? Huh? Okay, shoot him from here! What's going on? Is the ground like infected or something? Is that why? Oh, there you go, there you go, there you go. That's the first time we did that. Ugh. Okay, we gotta dodge this here? This is kind of cheesy. <laughs> what is it? How exactly do you want you to play it? Probably. Alright, hold on. Uh. Can I shoot him here? No, not yet. Dude, is the vomiting. I hope I never get to that level of vomit. Vomit bitch. So, I don't have like a, an opening, I think. Weirdly enough, I have to wait for the bullets. In case you're wondering why I'm not shooting, it's because the X over the character means I can't shoot him. Okay. Can I shoot now? Can I shoot now? Ah, damn it! I don't have any more bullets in here. Eh? 
Okay, we can do this though. Let's switch over to a better gun. <gasps> He's not stuck there. Is he moving? He's moving. <laughs> Is he shooting now? You have a gun, shoot it, bro. Yo. Oh, wait. Okay. He, he summoned the zombie! <laughs> I don't have any more bullets for this, do I? Ah, oh, shit, okay. He's, that's it, that's it. It's another zombie coming from him. Still not here. I'm scared. I don't have enough bullets for, for everyone here. Oh my god. I gotta I'm bleeding out. It's too much. <gasps> it's still alive! Ay <laughs> Please just die. I don't have bullets for you. Oh no. Ach I also need to heal up too. Ush. Gotta shoot her first. God, the timing of these things are so annoying. This doesn't allow me for, for like full, full shooting range stuff. Get away from me. Okay. Is there nothing in the room to help on these cannons to explode? These cannons to explode? That could actually be a case, but I think even him shooting it doesn't mean that they don't explode at all. This is the only time I can shoot right here. <sighs> oh god, I'm bleeding out still. Rish? No way, I hate- I pray for this to happen. What else is here? Is there anything else in the room for me? I gotta use everything in this room. Ah, cha cha cha! Get away from me. Oh, nice, I got them both. Ah, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh oh. What's he doing? What's he doing? Is the thermite? Do I have the thermite? I think I put the thermite away. That's why I don't think I can use it. Do I have it? No, I don't have it. Sorry. I, I put that away. I didn't know I was going to use it for this. What? It's not working. Can't do I gotta shoot from the front, I think. Ah, oh, damn it. I wasted time, but at least you learned something new from that sort of thing. Okay. Uh, I'll try again. I don't know, I never played. I'm literally just asking. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I'm also wondering stuff too. I'm trying to figure out what, what I'm supposed to do here, to be honest. Because I did the health bar in these guys, so I have no indication whether or not something is supposed to be of use here. Oh, these guys are... Tr 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 <sighs> Damn it. I, did I shoot them? I did shoot them. I'm also, um... No, 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 where is it? Is he... Looks like he's reloading? Okay, he's, he's shut... He's like throwing up from the party. Okay, there you go! There you go! We oh oh it's in it's in German I, it's behind me I can't read it. God this this face is intentionally left blank. We've seen that on test before, haven't we? Oh there are the lever. Wait, there's guys in this games. Oh <laughs> I really wish they had like a health bar. I think that would really I know that when you fight someone IRL there's no health bar over the head, but I think health bar is just a nice quality of life change for those kind of things. Ooh, okay. 
Adler. New enters a real a visitor. Welcome to our facility. Ooh. You caught us an unfortunate time. How can I help you? I'm looking for a gestalt. No way, it's gonna push me into the into the elevator? A worker at our facility. Let me see that picture. I put that picture in the storage. Alina So. I believe she's one of our factory workers. However. Oh boy. I mean, I, I knew that was gonna happen, but you shouldn't have returned. Uh, whisper to sleep with our son, dream about dreaming. <laughs> Wait, is that the girl? Oh, that's Alina, isn't it? She's so low poly right here. Oh, I'm playing from her POV. No, it's not actually Alina. It's, um, Issa. I must have fallen asleep while waiting for Erica. Did she already go home without me? We want to get some books from the library together. I should check if she's still there. Guys, I don't want to play this anymore. Why did it have to be like this? Guys, why did it have to be like this? We couldn't just do like a regular... Regular game? No! Where's the library? Is this the library? Oh, yeah, hold on. I don't know about this anymore, guys. Oh, yeah! I heard something. I heard something. Uh, <laughs> First person are my weakness. I want to see from the bird's eye view. <laughs> not for this type of game. I'm okay with first person point of view, but not for this kind of game. Is this the library? Is this the library? Is this the library? No! I'm not looking. Okay, actually, I'm kind of looking. Oh, I'm not. Oh. Oh. Damn, I feel like if you know German or Chinese, you'd be like. have layers of. Of a uh, like a uh, merging with the game. <sighs> okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought. I just I just hate the game does that. I just hate that. All right, so before I want to wrap up the stream in a bit, so what we're gonna do is try to find a safe spot. It looks like we're in a new area too, so it might be a while until we hit a new safe spot. But this is pretty good timing, I guess. Not too bad. Man, that felt not that great, to be honest. Okay, start here. Oh, okay, this is the same spot. And I also want to reserve some time with for, for just chatting. Just a little bit here. Because when I play video games, I don't really get a chance to chat with you guys. Oh, wait. More Dormite Flare. Uh, I mean, this... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Before we save this. Hi, Jerry. What's up? Oh, you know what? I need to, um... The best way to get rid of inventory space is to... Um, reload some bullets. There we go. It actually opened up in the space for us. I don't have, like, a 12mm gun... Uh, like, ammo, ammunition holder thing for this, so I have to put it away or something. I did not get the revolver. I did not. Honestly, I don't, I'm not too upset about not getting the revolver. It's just another weapon for us to make use of. Um, hold up. Bring that back. <laughs> what do we have here? We have like, what? Two types of healing stuff? That's why I'm kind of uh, inclined to put the one healing in storage. 
And then just hold on to two guns because you know those can hold different bullets for, for the stuff. The revolver is high damage. Don't worry about it. We did the boss fight without a revolver. Does that my face? That's not my face. I hope not. <laughs> Alright. Ah, <sighs> good, good tea spot. The first room we went into was exactly the room we needed, which is crazy to think about. Maybe... Oh, I don't want to boot up the game off stream to find a revolver, not gonna lie, poor genius. If I had to go find a revolver, I'd probably have to do it on the game itself. He did beat the boss first try, amazingly. Oh, Leo. <laughs> he doesn't He doesn't know this game's on easy. Oh, Leo. I'm kidding, this game's on normal. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. A little, a little cheese there to get us through the boss fight. But yeah, we did good on the first try. Alright, I'm gonna move to um the the room scene. Then we'll wrap up with small just time portion and then yeah, we'll call it there. Oh man, this game I was really wary of it um the first time I played it, so I wasn't exactly sure how it was gonna pan out. Let me turn on the lights in my room. Oh, oh my god, I'm so bright. <laughs> I'm so bright. There we go. That was the end of our playthrough of Signalism on today's stream. Um, you know, we had some people, some of my friends coming in and like, Oh, how was, how Signalist? Do you like it? Do you like it? And so far, it's been a bit of an unsettling experience. But I admire games and also, um, series that make you feel like you're part of the, the experience. Does that make sense? For example, like Furin, you feel the slowness in the animation because you are in the POV or in the um time space that fear is experiencing so for signalists you know everything's unsettling it's unnerving things are gonna pop out you and you're just wondering oh what does this mean why is it like this but you only know as much as the main character as well and sort of that's the thing that we have to face a boss is a boss still you agree thank you thank you and yeah first step into horror games <laughs> nope 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 this is this is where I draw the line for, for horror games, maybe. I don't think I could go further than this. Did you do do? What I was awake for was fine. <laughs> I'm sure it was. She's no longer blue. That body. If I if I if I play the the game with full lights on, it's gonna look really out of place. Cause I'm pale as heck and I just I stand out. I'd look like a light beam against a dark background. Theater in comparison is not my first thought, but it works. It's not my first thought either, but um Theater in particular is like the the anime that I think of when I think about how a show kind of makes uh like warps your sense of of time or sort of shared experience that the main character is feeling. And for single, you know just as much as he does, like I mentioned. It's a bit of a hor horrific experience too with some of the things you're going through. Like, we ended off the game where her friend... Actually, I'm confused about the android that we're in the POV of because sometimes we just flip up into, like, another body. And what I think is happening is that these androids are actually the memories being played when they were just humans. So maybe that was what we were experiencing in that last scene there where the girl was being bullied. RE1? Bruh. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for RE1, but Signalist kind of gives me a bit of that gateway into puzzle horror games. I love joining at the very end of the stream. Oh, you should you know, we should talk about this sort of thing. But, um... Wait, wait actually, I'll, I'll, I'll read back on it. Let me read this one last bit here. Oh, sorry, starts to pick up from here. Okay, good. I hope it doesn't pick up in like a scary way. I didn't like walking through the hallway in first person point of view. My solution when that happens is to... is to look at the ground and walk around. <laughs> Look at the ground and walk around. That's what I always do when I when I get really scared. Even my first time playing Phasmophobia, a lot of footage is probably ground footage than anything else. Um, it's just a life hack if you guys didn't know. If you look at the ground, you won't see their scary face, but you'll see their ugly feet though. Oh, I didn't know about this weird flashback stuff. Oh, you didn't get far back enough, did you, Joe Bob? I call it a weird flashback, but I don't actually know if it's a flashback. That's sort of the conclusion that I'm drawing from, but I could be wrong as more information starts unraveling. 
Mm -hmm. Lamar, heart rate monitor spiked while you were looking at the ground. <laughs> you don't, don't make fun of me. I know. I know, I know. All right, I need to remove this heart rate monitor. It's really uncomfortable. I remember we had like a unit in gym class where we had to record stuff with a heart rate monitor. And I kind of I want to thank that gym teacher for, for, for that unit because it's so obscure, but actually helped me apply this heart rate monitor on me first. In case you didn't know, you're supposed to wet the heart rate monitor strap so that it like goes under your skin kind of wet a little bit and it just reads the uh, heart rate a lot better and accurately. No, I only got like an hour in. <laughs> oh man. You only got an hour in? Hour in, you're probably still in the first ship, right? You're not gonna get to the point where you start moving on from the starting point of the fallen ship to the main portion of the story where it's happening in the building only. Moist monitor. It's called heart rate monitor, but there's no monitor monitor per se. It's just a strap. The human mind fills in a blank, which is more terrifying. That is what on the screen. <laughs> what if they like... What if they... I'm looking at the ground and they pick my face up and I'm like... My mouse is forced upwards and I see like their ugly face. Their scary, scary face too. Oh, oh, let's take a look at the ground, man. Oh, that's my heart rate monitor telling me, hey, we're done recording kind of thing. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, something I really want to talk about is a tweet, or not tweet, a Reddit post I saw on the subreddit for VTubers. Something that was debated about and then talked about was whether or not it's better to have a just chatting portion at the end of stream or at the beginning of stream. And for a long time, I kind of had like a beginning portion where I'm doing a just chatting portion to kind of just let people file in. But I kind of don't mind doing it at the very end as well. I think the idea is that if you're here for the game... Well, I, I do like, you know, a few minute pleasantries and introducing you guys to what we're doing today and also greeting you guys too. That's not really the just chatting portion I'm really talking about. I'm talking about like the... Guys, experience an earthquake. Guys, I... I, I dried my laundry today kind of thing you know jerry creating chords only she can comprehend <laughs> only me only i can comprehend such a city i don't actually imagine anything i just this is fear of the unknown what's gonna happen is what it is um let's see doing it at the beginning lets me get stuff off my mind right away i can't wait that long <laughs> You like get your stuff off the mind right away? What does it mean? Like you start sidetracking or something? I think personally for me, I like it when the VTuber... Um, you know, just basically what I do, you know, a few minutes of pleasantry to kind of ease myself into the stream after the waiting room. And then just like a, a quick hop in into the game or content or whatever is being streamed. So I think that's like a nice way to go about it while kind of closing off with a just chatting. I don't normally end my stream with just chatting portion. I only do it if I feel like I didn't get a chance to really talk about it during my gameplay stuff. But, um... That's that's only when the gameplay itself is pretty intense. <laughs> it's scary, man. When I have like a list of topics and I'm only doing like game commentary stuff. Like, I need to start talking about the stream or whatever for 10 minutes before starting. I can't help it. I... I think it's fun. I think it's fun when you have stories to tell at the beginning of streams, but... Not everyone gets to hear it. I think what I'm doing a little bit is kind of buying time for the late people. <laughs> buying time for the late people so they don't miss anything as the actual stream begins. But um, it's nice to wrap it up every now and then in the middle of the gameplay itself. I feel the not being able to hit the full list, it sucks. I like it though, because that means you have a, a list for the next time you stream. And I stream four times a week, so I have to... Have a list of things in my mind every time and be mindful of what I have um, when I'm assuming and stuff. <sighs> it's when I do gunpla, that's when I have to use my full list. <laughs> I've seen streamers who just chat before the main event. And yeah, that's okay. They're just mainly roaming up people. Just chatting portions definitely kind of bring the community together. Rather than the game that you're streaming or whatever content you're trying to put out. <laughs> Having both talking is fine too. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't mind that at all. Yeah, so here's some stories that I wanted everyone to hear, but obviously not everyone can be at the beginning, and then they just never hear unless they watch the VODs. I'm a VOD watcher. I'm a proud VOD watcher, so that I have all the context of things to catch up on. 
At the start, that makes sense. The most sense for waiting. <laughs> what do I have? I have like the starting soon screen that's about three minutes long. And then maybe another five minute. Basically, you can be late for my stream for 10 minutes and not miss the main event. That's not my intention. My intention really is just to kind of reward those who come in early enough for the just chatting portion. Maybe that's the gameplay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thank you for helping me wind down my heart rate and everything after the, the horrors and experience of today's adventure. Uh, it's a little tough. I think um, Signalus has a medium difficulty, so it's not too hard some part and but it's like difficult enough where you feel satisfied when you complete the the puzzles and whatnot hmm? do you see final day yeah they, they hit a million dollars in the cyclothon didn't see it but i did hear about it all right see you guys tomorrow for uh, model building we're gonna finish we're probably not gonna finish this i, I don't want to lie to you <laughs> i take it back tomorrow we're gonna put on the armor the blue armor for the Liger 0x and hopefully see the brown cat turn into a really cool warrior cat or some sort thanks for the stream sorry see you next week oh the, the bunny is so cute what the heck the, <laughs> the the bunny is like nicely proportioned and everything it's like cartoony or something that's pretty cool all right see you guys tomorrow at 6 30 p.m est 3 30 p.m pst and 11 30 PM, GMT. Okay, bye bye. Bye.